Okay guys, you know DJI, they are a household name and when it comes to drones, they have a drone for just about everyone. Whether it's for commercial use, for recreational use, there's a drone for you. But there's actually one area where DJI has yet to dip its toes in and that's the world of FPV drones, first person view. But they're tackling that with its latest drone, the DJI FPV and let me tell you, I'm a little bit intimidated by it. But before I get started, I just wanna remind you guys to make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get the latest information and videos on what's happening in the world of tech. All right, so the first thing you wanna know about the DJI FPV is that it's a powerhouse beast. And you get a sense of that the moment you turn it on because it kind of rumbles, but they put a lot of horsepower into this drone. It is bigger than some other FPV drones or racer drones, but there's a reason why. It can accelerate from zero to 62 miles per hour in just two seconds. So that alone makes it faster than a Tesla Model S. It also has a top speed of 87 miles per hour when you have it on manual mode. And that is basically double the speed of DJI's consumer drones like the Mavic series. So again, there is a lot of power in this drone and you feel it the moment you pilot it. And when you have it in the air, it's interesting because you can make all these really cool aerial acrobatic moves that you really couldn't get with DJI's other drones. You can make tight corners. You could almost feel like you're drifting in the air. And like I said at the beginning of this video, it had some anxiety because it really felt like I was driving a race car and that was just for the very first time. There's a steeper learning curve involved here with the DJI FPV, so I really wouldn't recommend this to a beginner. You also have more components to work with, so getting it set up from the box to the air takes more time. Not only do you have the drone, you have to set up the remote controller, the goggles, and then there's the battery to the FPV goggles, so it does take more time than your traditional drone. The menu system with the DJI FPV goggles isn't the most intuitive. I found it a little bit tough, especially as you're flying because you have to go through all these menus in order to do things like adjust the video resolution. You're also gonna need at least two people in order to fly the DJI FPV. And that's important to know because when you wear those goggles, you lose your visual line of sight, so you're gonna need a spotter there at all times. Luckily though, with the OcuSync 3.0 technology, I like that you get a reliable video transmission. So while I was flying it, never once did it lose or drop the connection or had some latency issues. I was basically seeing what the drone was seeing, and that's useful when you're piloting a very powerful drone like this. What I love most about the DJI FPV is the dynamic action footage you'll be able to capture using the 12 megapixel camera. That's because it sits on a single axis gimbal, so it has a very different look and feel versus other consumer drones. You have that feeling that you're in the cockpit piloting something, so not only do you have the incredible acceleration, you'll be able to make those tight turns, you really get a sense of speed and pacing with this type of drone versus other ones. It shoots video at 4K resolution, 60 frames per second, so no different from most drones out there. The quality is good, especially if there's ample lighting, daylight, daytime, you're gonna get some sharp looking details, nice punchy colors, but under low light, that's where the camera struggles. I tend to see a lot of artifacting elements in the shadows. So for low light situations, it might not be the most suitable thing. Before I tell you who this drone is for, I'll tell you who it's not for. If you're gonna do a lot of photography, then this is not for you. There are better drones for that purpose. And on top of that, this is not something that you'll wanna use if you're just starting. The DJI FPV is for serious videographers, those who really wanna take their video to the next level because of the action footage you're gonna get with this, the sense of speed, the pacing, the tight turns, the acceleration. That's a visual style that you're not gonna get with other drones unless you kind of speed up the footage, but it's not really as realistic as this. As far as pricing goes, the DJI FPV starts at $1,300. It has everything you need to get started, but I would definitely recommend paying the extra $300 to get the Fly More kit because it includes two additional spare batteries and the charging hub. And just for reference, one spare battery is gonna cost you $159 to buy. So for $300, it's a great value. Definitely get it. And like I said, the DJI FPV is for serious videographers. And that is it for my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. 
If you want to learn more about any of the stuff I talked about in this video, you can check out our website, digitaltrends.com. I'm John Velasco, and I'll see you in my next video.